Hello, I'm back from the Swedish Tank Museum and now it's coffee time. Um, we did a film a couple of months ago when I spoke about how to make food in a tank and uh, I had this little box with uh, my emergency supply from when I was a tank company commander in 19 1994, 26 years ago, and um, we couldn't find any dates on these coffee, uh, but I guess they are from around 1990 something, um, approximately 30 years old. And a lot of comments asked, will they be possible to use as coffee? Um, I guess so. Uh, so we decided to, to try. And in order, order to do that we need some hot water which is uh, made in the tank in the boiling vessel and in order to do that you need to run the engine and uh, for obvious reasons we are now in the museum and uh, we decided not to bring the tank out just to make this coffee because um, it will consume a lot of diesel to just to get one mug of co coffee. So uh, we decided to um, make it a bit um, like they do in um, cooking films in TV. They have preheated the water. Um, and this tank, this, the 104, which is the diesel version, the connection for the boiling vessel in, in the back, at, uh, close to the uh, loader's position. And the loader was always, always um, in charge of making hot water and uh, preparing food, etc. In the older versions with a petrol engine, the connection was down here at the driver's seat, which was a bit uh, strange because uh, the cloud was always uh, in charge of the water, but in that tank the connection was down here, closer to the batteries. But in, in this it's further back, but uh, I decided to use the driver's position just for this. So now I, here I am in the driver's position of the diesel version and we have pre-cooked the water and I will try if it will taste as it should or if it tastes differently. So uh, I'll be back. The boiling vessel is uh, 24 volts connected to the tank, 700 watts. So it's, uh, well, like an ordinary microwave in charge, so um, you need to have the engine running to, to do this, otherwise you will run out of batteries quite quite fast. There is the coffee and I also managed to find my special spoon which I found some years ago. It had been run over by a Centurion tank so it's uh, quite flat. Uh, but I decided to, to keep it. It works perfectly well as a spoon for making coffee. Mm, not that bad. I've tasted worse. So there is the hot water. If you can see, well, steams. Shaken, not stirred, or is it the other way around? I don't remember. Mm. Perfectly okay. So when you're out in the winter time, that's where I why I'm wearing this nice hood that we have to the tank jacket in Sweden. It's 
the perfect start of the day to have a hot cup of coffee. 26 or 30 years old coffee. Perfectly okay. So that was um, that, how to make coffee in a tank. Hope you enjoyed it.